Now, from across the Tri-States, this is KHQA Sports. Top of the evening, everybody, from Game Masters in Quincy. Tenth anniversary celebration, and Don and the folks out here have done it up right this year. We've got a ton of St. Louis Cardinal fans all in the building, all angling for an autograph from this man right here to my right tonight. Mike Matheny joins us, the skipper of the St. Louis Cardinals. And first of all, Mike, obviously it was a big weekend in St. Louis with the passing of Stan Musial. Just your recollections and your thoughts about Stan the man. Well, the um, the numbers speak for themselves, what he's able to accomplish and, and uh but to me, I'll, I'll keep talking about it because I think it's uh, really what set Mr. Musial apart was, was how he treated people and uh, how he endeared the fans and, and engaged them, with them and, and gave, uh, gave them more than just the 22 years of baseball. He, he, gave, uh, he made that his home and, and really invested into the Cardinal fan base like, uh, like no player I've ever seen, especially a superstar player. Mike, for your standpoint, last year, what was the takeaway for you from last season? Uh, you know, we had a group of guys that uh, that didn't quit. I mean, I think that's the one thing that stands out more than anything else. Um, another takeaway is, is uh, we have unfinished business. I mean, there's a, there's a, a very talented group of guys that are nowhere near complacent with what we did. Um, we we defied some odds, but not uh, not reaching the goals that we had set, and that's another championship. So uh, we're excited to learn from what we what we. Uh, had last year and, and where we came up short and, and uh, excited to get going in a, in a direction to take that 12th championship back to St. Louis. Well, I'm going to make a call now to the journalistic bullpen because I'm bringing out my young friend Dylan here. He's been in line here since 3 o'clock to get your autograph. He is going to ask you a question. Dylan, take it away, my friend. All right. Um, even though he was sidelined with an injury for a lot of last year, Lance was a big instigator with rallies and everything throughout the whole season. With him going to Texas, who do you think is going to be the next big cheerleader on the sidelines? I thought you were going to ask me what kind of truck I drove or something <laughs> like that. He did uh, good with the question. Yeah, though. great, great question. Uh, Lance certainly, certainly was was part of the heart and soul of our team, and, and you also have to add into that Skip Schumacher, who uh, we we just hate to see both these guys go as people. Um, but th that's the nature of the game, unfortunately. So we have a, a void to fill, but uh, we have great leadership in our pitching staff with a Chris Carpenter and an Adam Wainwright. Uh, we've got a, a, a Matt Holliday who uh, is, to me, an MVP caliber every time, every season he, he shows up. Uh, but Yachty, Yachty Molina is just a pure leader. Um, he's, uh, he's kind of uh, the heart and soul at times of our club, um, and uh, he's going to be fun to watch, do exactly what he did last year and hopefully be in that MVP race. Fantastic job, Dylan. I'm out of a job, buddy. You come <laughs> see me afterwards, or at least maybe Ross will be out of a job. All right, Mike, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much for coming back to Quincy. He's got autographs to sign, but we've got more sports news for you. Let's talk a little high school football. Big doings today in the commitment world as Bobby Grunlow, the outstanding Palmyra All-State defensive end, has made a commitment to Northwest Missouri State, one of the best Division II programs in the entire country. As you are well aware, Bobby was an absolute monster last year for Palmyra. 125 total tackles. 11 quarterback sacks, 8 fumble recoveries, so great, great get for Northwest Missouri State. Again, Kevin Miles, the head coach at Palmyra, telling us today that Bobby had made this pledge. Also, new state rankings are out in girls' basketball, and maybe we've had a bit of a market correction as Quincy Notre Dame, after inexplicably dropping a spot last week in the polls, down from 2 to 3, is back up to number 2 this week, but they are now tied with Morgan Park. So good news for Palmyra, or excuse me, for Q&D, getting a little bit more of the respect that they deserve in the girls' basketball poll. No other team in Western Illinois, boys or girls, in any class crack the top ten. Hey, we're all out of time here. Huge sports final coming up tonight with plenty of basketball. We'll see you then, everybody.